This time I will break down on how to animate different icons which you can use for presentations or short form videos. For this case I will use sports icons and animate them. When you're adding videos like this, make sure that your images are PNGs. So let's open CapCut and import the background. It doesn't really matter which one you're using. I will use this grid blue background for my case. Drop it to the timeline and extend it to around 15 second mark. Move your playhead to around 1 second mark. Drag down your PNG icon if you have it. If you don't have it, you can always go to Emojipedia.org. Search for the icon, click on it and copy it. Then go back to CapCut, Text, Add Default Text and pass the icon to the text. Let's make it bigger to around 30. Move playhead to 3.5 second mark, which is 3.15 because 1 second means 30 frames per second. And cut the icon. Now because we want our icons to move on a certain path, I will draw a curved line which we will delete later on. Go to the text again, add default text and type dashes a couple of times like you see me doing. Then move to the character, type minus 3, uncheck uniform scale and increase the width. Scroll down, click on curve and adjust the curve. Rotate it to 90 degrees and move it to the left. Drag the curve under the icon and move the icon to the curve. Move playhead to 2 second mark, click keyframe on position and size and opacity. Then go to the beginning of the icon, move it to the top, reduce the size to 60, drag opacity to 20 and keyframes will be created automatically. Move to the 2 and a half second mark. Click keyframe on position and size and opacity. Move to the end of the icon, click one frame back, drag icon to the bottom, reduce the opacity to 20 and click keyframe on position and size. I see that I forgot to reduce the size to 60. Now let us add text for the sport. You can choose the font you like, place it on the right side and resize it. Drag it to the beginning and align it to the icon. I will also add animation to the text. I will choose slide left animation and set the duration to 1.1 second. Then I will add out animation and I will choose fade out and leave it on 0.5 seconds. Now we can duplicate our icon and text so many times as you wish. I will have 7 sports so I will do it 7 times. Let's extend the line. Highlight the icon and move your playhead to this third keyframe. Select text and icon. Copy and paste it. I will do this 5 more times. Now we have to change the icons and the text to other sports. My second sport will be skiing. So I click on the second icon and paste a new sport. Then I also have to change the text. This is how you have to change all the other icons and texts. I will go faster on this one now. Ok. If we check now, you can see that the icon is moving on a straight line, which we don't want. We can fix that really easy. Highlight the icon, right click and click on show keyframe animation. Click on X, click one more time, then click on the keyframe and then on this auto curve icon. Repeat that for a second keyframe and close it with the right click and hide keyframe animation. You can see the difference now how icon is moving smoother in a curved line. Now we have to do this for all the icons. Let's see what we have now.
looks pretty good but we don't need that line anymore so we can delete it now before we jump into our last part i assume because you're watching this video you probably like to learn new things and that is why i would like to introduce to you our sponsor skillshare by the way if you don't know skillshare they have a ton of different classes on video editing social media photography and so on so when I started with my YouTube channel, I didn't have a clue on how to grow my channel, how to create a thumbnail or how to get more views on my videos. As all of you, I was also watching a lot of YouTube videos and that is how I ran into Skillshare and I thought I should give it a try. And if you ask me today, I'm so happy I did because I learned things so much faster. The two creators I should point out and are actually my favorite from which I learned a lot through their classes are Ali Abdal and Marcus Brownlee. I started with Ali Abdal with YouTube Basics and class called YouTube for Beginners, how to start and grow your YouTube channel. I learned how to set my YouTube channel, how to prepare a script and how to grow my channel. But once I got familiar with those lessons, I moved to Brownlee and his more advanced class YouTube Success, script, shot and edit with MKBHD. So if you want to level up your knowledge or if you want to learn a new skills, Skillshare is the place to be. Plus, first 500 people to use my link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let me show you the last part of my tutorial. What I would like to do now is turn around the spinning of our icons because let's say we are searching for the right sport to choose. So highlight all icons and texts, right click and create a compound clip, then copy it move to the end, leave let's say one second between the clips and paste it. Stretch the background, highlight the upper click and click on this reverse icon, which will turn around our video. Then go to the sport you want to choose and cut the clip. Move to our first clip, right click and click on undo compound clip go on basketball icon highlight it and go to this second keyframe there are two things we have to remember font size which is 30 and x position which is minus 632 now go to the second clip where we cut it add default text copy basketball icon again from emojipedia and paste it enter the values font size 30 and x position minus 632 so we get the icon to the same place as in our lower clip now move two frames forward go up to stickers and find that clicking hand and drop it to the timeline resize it and adjust its position then move another 11 frames forward highlight the lower clip Cut it and delete the right part. We will add a mouse clicking effect, so move your playhead to the beginning of the hand, go to audio, sound effects and find mouse single click 2 effect, edit and adjust its position. Now all we have to do is add an end animation for our basketball icon and we are done. Move your playhead to the end of the lower clip, go 8 frames forward, highlight the hand and delete the right part. Go another 6 frames forward, highlight the icon and delete the right part. Right click, create a compound clip, go up to animations, click on out and choose zoom in animation and that's it. Let us check our end result. Hope you like the tutorial, if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.